Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. Few days back, I asked you one problem statement which was related to pipelining in digital design and I gave one of the solution, but it was inefficient solution. And now in this video, I'm going to explain you the most efficient solution. Now without wasting much time, let us get started and see the solution. Friends, before telling you the efficient solution, let me repeat the problem statement. And then I, then I will tell you what was the first solution, which was inefficient one. Then we will proceed with the final efficient solution. The problem statement was there are four modules in the design. Task feeder module, module one, which takes five clock cycle to complete the task. Module two, which takes six clock cycles to complete the task. Module three, which takes five clock cycles to complete the task. And we were taking acknowledgement from the first module and this acknowledgement was going to task feeder module. That means it was able to feed module one after every fifth clock cycle. But because module two was taking six clock cycles delay, so the pipeline was getting crashed. And that I explained in my previous video. In the solution, what we decided that we'll take the acknowledgement from module two instead of taking acknowledgement from module one. But in that case, Task feeder module can feed input to module one after every 11th clock cycle and the pipelining was becoming very, very inefficient. Friends, let me reveal the actual solution, which is the most valid one. Because here we know that module one will take fixed five clock cycles only and module two will take six clock cycles only and module three will take five clock cycles only to complete the task. So here, actually, we don't need any feedback from module one or module two or module three, because we know the amount of clock cycle that each module is taking. So what we can do is we can discard this acknowledgement and our task feeder module can feed task to module one after every six clock cycle. In reality, we need not to have any feedback in the pipeline system because we know that each module is taking a fixed number of clock cycles. But now the question arises, if module one, module two, and module three, this module does not have fixed delay in terms of clock cycles. Let us say module one for one type of task can take three clock cycles, and for another type of task, it may take five clock cycles. Similarly, module two may have a variable delay depending on the task type, and similarly, module three can have a variable delay depending on the task type. Let me write the exact number of clock cycles that module one take. It can take three for one type of task and it may take five clock cycle for another type of task. Similarly, module two can take four to six clock cycles depending on the task type. And similarly, module three can take two to five clock cycles depending on the task type. Friends, again, there's a question for you. And the question is, after how many clock cycles task feeder should feed tasks to module one so that our pipeline is operating in an efficient way? Now you can pause my video here. Try to think of its answer. If anything comes to your mind, please write it down in the comment section so that we can discuss it there. Otherwise, in the upcoming video, I will reveal its answer. With this, I'm going to end this video and I hope that this would be quite informative for all of you. And if you also like this video, please press the like button and share your feedback in the comment section. And in the future also, we are going to create many such videos. So to be aligned with our channel, don't forget to subscribe it and press the bell icon to get the notification of all the upcoming videos. Thank you so much for watching and your support.